Who would have thought that two of those little yacht club kids running around playing together would grow up and build a life together, despite being apart for so many years? As we continued walking through our lives separately, neither of us had any idea that God had a plan to reunite us in the most beautiful way. Your level of love and commitment is something many seek, but not everyone finds. And as I stand here today, with almost six years of dating behind us, I can only thank God for blessing me with a man like you. We've been through some unimaginable obstacles. And I got the call saying, you need to get to the hospital. Your dad's had an accident. The bond you share is a rarity in this world. And he was there for her all throughout everything. So they were friends for a long time. I think everybody knew that they were together before they did, <laughs> or they would admit it anyways. The YC, that's where we grew up and why we are the way we are. I remember when he was a kid, he looked like a Latina with his dark complexion. Everyone was just so close. Like all the kids were around the same ages, all the parents got along. I still remember sometimes we had like the cul de sac parties and stuff. But if you forget to forget me not and we fade away, you're my little flower blooming in the night. It was like my favorite thing ever just having so many kids that were the same age as me and we all got along so well, and you were one of them. People always say like you guys lived in like a movie and stuff. Then we moved away to Florida. And I remember the little going away party that everyone had for us. The end was so different because everyone was so sad. So there was, yeah, quite a bit of gap years where we weren't <laughs> even in the same state or city. What can I do? What can I say to convince you to stay? They ended up going back to the same high school. When I walked in, I felt like it was just you. And it was just me. I remember you just sitting with your long legs just stretched out. Like, oh my gosh, she's so tall. Sat next to each other and we had that whole time thinking that we knew each other. But I didn't know if you were gonna remember me, so I was scared to say anything to you at first because I was like, what if he thinks I'm weird? <laughs> I was into you in high school. We just lost touch for all those years. When I was swiping on Tinder and saw you, I had to see if you swiped right on me. I thought the same thing. I was like, I'm gonna see if she swiped right on me. So I swiped right, thinking if he swiped too, I'm just gonna delete it right away. It did, it matched, and I was like, oh my God. Now this is fun. Let me see where it goes. And we were nervous because people knew who we were. We just didn't, weren't ready to like tell people. And so we were like hiding and stuff. I only knew her as Jessica Day. He was just like, it's some girl, like don't worry about it. And oh my gosh, we know her. What can I do? What can I say to convince you to stay? As soon as we met again, I knew there was something special about you. All my life, I've been hard on myself when it came to anything I was doing until you came back into my life and made me feel like everything I did was impressive or an accomplishment. So Zach, as a person, is someone who would give the shirt off his back. He makes sure that everyone else is taken care of before he is. It comes out when he's around Meg and anything she needs, he's like right there. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm gonna Megan 
and Zach were hanging out a lot right around the time that my dad's accident happened where he lost his arm and the person that drove her to the hospital to meet the family was Zach. It was kind of just fate that I was with you. You kept me calm, you got a plan together. And he was there for her all throughout everything. to always laugh with you. I promise to remind you of your strength and compassion on days that you doubt yourself. I promise on my weakest days, I'll be strong for you. And lastly, I promise to love you and remain faithful to you for the rest of my life. I promise to love you with everything I have in this life and the next. You were just kind of like my saving grace in that moment. So far. I now formally pronounce Zachary and Megan as husband and wife. So happy that Megan and Zachary connected all those years later after rolling around on scooters as kids in the yacht club. Don't look down, you keep holding your head up. You can't have what you don't give out. You got nothing to do. This is quite the I told you so moment. And if you're wondering where she got her charm and wit from, well, let's just take a look at this face. I'm like, you two disgust me because you are so, I'm like, you guys are so perfect together. Always, forever remember you may. They have their little dance moves. Better. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let you know shine. Everybody else would be like, what are you doing? Cause light up the world. My daughter came to me and said, pick whoever you want to be my husband, and I'll marry whoever you say. I couldn't have done any better than you, my friend. Every day and night, so take your light and let it shine. Don't hurt her, or I'll kill you. Welcome to my nightmare. Okay. As a sister, we're like always like n -n 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 at each other. Megan never forgets to remind me that I almost killed her once. They're just like, oh, no. Boy, that mom and dad, if you want to hear it again, you're going to have to roll the tape back. Tella novella.